Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to determine a coordinate relationship. Here's our problem. Camilla created some ordered pairs from corresponding terms of two different patterns. Then she plotted the ordered pairs on a graph as shown. Which of the following describes the relationship between the corresponding terms of the two patterns? So I'm going to ask you to use this coordinate plane. Pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we are looking to describe a relationship between corresponding terms of two patterns. So we need to first understand that this ordered pair is an X and Y coordinate. So we go to 3 on our x-axis and up to 15 on our y-axis. So this ordered pair is an x and a y value. The second is over to the 6 and 30. And the third is 9 for my x and y is 45. So now we want to understand that each one of those is an X and a Y value that make up an ordered pair. And we're looking to determine the relationship. And I can see that 3 times 5 is 15. So we can say that 3 times the 5 is 15. So when we take this, we can look at 5 times X and check to see if it's Y. So x is 6, 5 times 6 is 30. And the third one, 5 times 9 is 45. So this pattern checks. Looking through all of our choices, this one says that the x value is, so is equal to, 5 times the y. We know that's not true. 15 times 5 is much greater than 3. Then we can see in choice C and D, we're talking about adding 12, 12 more than the value. So in the first one, they're trying to trick you because 3 plus 12 is 15, but 6 plus 12 is not 30. 9 plus 12 is not 45. So we know that our correct answer is B, that Y is equal to 5 times the value of X. And we know that we've ruled out A, and we know that we cannot add X is not more than 12 more than the Y. 15 plus 12 is much greater than 3. And D, 12, 15 is, not, is equal to 3 plus 12, but it doesn't check for all three ordered pairs. So if we're going to pick this, it needs to be true for all three ordered pairs. So don't be fooled. Make sure you check each ordered pair. Our answer here is B. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and have a great day.